Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, locks like master lock and uh, those warded locks and the ones I w I've been showing you know, those are simple locks. And uh, pin tumbler locks can put, they can put stuff in called security pins. And not all Chinese locks are the same. See, this is a made in China Ace Hardware lock, but they use security pins in this. And it's a five pin lock instead of a four pin. So you see we got one, two, three, four, five. And what makes this one difficult with security pins is they require counter rotation. In other words, when I'll show you, I'll show you counter rotation and false sets. You'll get something called false sets and counter rotations with security pin locks. They usually aren't as easy to rake and bump and stuff. But let's get in here. This is why I bought this vice originally. It was for locks. Um, they make smaller, you know, vices just for lock picking and all that other stuff. Um, but this one worked out fine for me because it's got multitude of uses besides just locks. Now, on this, you see this is top of the keyway tensioning. That's when you want to, when you need to get a, in there and have a lot of room. And you see how this one's like flopping around? It's not really the right size. So, let me get this out of the way here. Not completely prepared. I want to get some. A thicker one you want it to fit in there and not give you a lot of play now this one can be picked with bottom of the keyway tensioning and you've got to watch out for these pins here too that your tension wrench is not knocking into it now what I do is I go in you can start from the front or the back I, I start from the front because I can see it and I go up to pin one and I push on it and it it's springy so with tension on the lock that pin is not holding it up so I go back to the next pin and I push on it and it's springy and I just keep working my way back and hit this that pin had a bind and it had a click now I'm not pushing any further on it because it just had a click and and after a while you you just develop a feel for things all right now we go back to the front we just start again pin one still nothing out of pin one i got a click out of pin two but nothing happened you know so i just go to the next pin all right this pin is binding back here and when i push on it i don't know if you can see this but the the tension wrench is going backwards that's a spool i'm trying to get on it again that's a spool, a spool pin. So in rather, rather than being a straight shape like this, it's got a wasp waist to it. And so when you're picking, it'll cause the core to turn and, and look like it's going to open. And that's what's called a false set. I'm trying to get back to that spool and get it to engage. I'm not hitting it right. It's been a while since I picked also, so... This, uh, when you reach this level of picking, you're pretty much ready to go on, you know, uh, when you, when you're picking against security pins and you're doing five pins and you can get a lock like this open, you've reached the next level. Uh, the first level is like raking locks and, uh, bypass, you know, figuring any way to get in it, but. When you start getting into picking, that's single pin picking. Um, spools will tell you a lot about a lock. How well it's made and stuff like that. And see, I'm not, I'm not getting anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let everything fall back down. And just start all over again. And this can be tedious. That's why I said it. it it's there was a click off of three. It's not. Uh, 
it's a puzzle. Some of it is feel. I want to get this thing into a full set. And you can see how much time I've taken so far. It's five minutes. Man, you can sit here for 30 minutes or more and pick a lock. Trying to pick a lock sometimes. So, imagine the better lock that you've got. Like I said, that's why thieves don't do this, man. Do you, you see the concentration it requires? you got to feel this and you got to hear clicks and stuff. Man, in the real world with the dog barking at you and, you know, the homeowner's got a shotgun and it jacks a slide, you're not going to be able to do all this. You need concentration. Like, you know, there's a big difference between picking a lock and a, on a bench and doing one out in the cold with gloves on. Anyway, I'm not getting too far with this guy. Just for practice, I picked it open before this, and uh, it took me a little while. I didn't have it in the in the vise like this. Yeah, I was just randomly going along and pushing along. Um, if you look at like lock picking lawyer, somebody that's skilled at this, he goes up. And he just methodic, he goes to pin one, it's springy. And so he just goes directly to pin two, it's springy, he doesn't mess with it, he goes to pin three. If it's binding, he gets a click and it doesn't do anything, you know. He just works that stack, you know, he just goes, he goes just up and back. And then when he's finished, he comes all the way back and does the same thing, goes back to pin one. <clears throat> he's just a methodical picker. Me, I'm a persistent picker. Uh, you know, I don't give up easily, so I'll sit here and mess with a lock sometimes, especially if it's one I haven't opened before. I'll mess with it for hours if I have to, to get the thing open. And some people, you know, like picking, some people can't pick and talk, you know. They have to, they have to completely concentrate on everything they're doing. I've done this so much that I can pick and talk. But it's whatever, whatever you need. What I'm talking about is a false set is you see how the core is just tilted a little bit? When you get a spool into a false set, it'll move. It'll move, the core will move maybe this much. And you'll go, wow, why isn't it opening? It's because it's hung up on a spool. And you've got to go find it and release it from its binding tension. So far, I'm not doing too great here. I wasn't using this pick either when I opened it. Maybe that's the difference. Sometimes you have to switch picks, you know. This guy... Doesn't have enough reach. See, like this one, he's got more of a hook shape to him, and so he can lift up higher. You just find after a while what works for you. You know, what, what picks work for you. Sometimes they work on some locks. Sometimes they work on others. There's like no, it's like knives, you know, there's no one knife that does everything, there's no one pick that does everything. Usually a hook, a good hook, medium, they're talking about the depth that it goes up, a, a good medium hook <clears throat> will be good sometimes to get past pins and everything. You need a deep hook, you need to go all the way past it. Trying to get this into a false set, but I'm not having much luck here. There we go. There's a spool. Ooh. All right, yeah, I don't know if you saw that, but it, it moved just a little bit. I did what was counter-rotations. You're basically just, just let the 
as you're pushing up on the pin, it'll push back on the tension wrench. Don't fight it completely. Let it let it go up with your pick go up with the I mean the tension wrench go up. And when it gets past the spool, it'll come back. I mean it won't go. It's only the width of that cutout of the pin that you're having to engage. And a lot of times if you're doing a uh, single uh, top of the keyway tensioning, it'll hide pin one. And sometimes pin one is the one that's holding you up. So you have to specifically go in there and look at it sometimes. But um, I'm sitting way back here. I don't even see this. I'm just going by feel. There's one back there. Uh, I think he dropped everything. If you go too far back, you're going to hit the back of the the lock and it'll kind of give you a counter rotation you think you're hitting this bull but just make sure you're on a pin when you do that uh, warding the stuff that jigs like this we call warding that sometimes you'll push on warding and you'll think you're on a pin Ooh, i got that one i gotta get past this guy oh there that's a false set it doesn't look like much, but see how, I don't know if you've been watching, but that, that's a false set. So that means that we're on a spool. Some, one of these pins, I'm just going in and I'm touching each pin and feeling up here if it's pushing back at me. And if it is, then I know I'm on the spool. If you're good at this, it, and there's one right here. That feels set. This guy in the back. <clears throat> you hear that click? All right. I get some counter rotation back here. Right there. Click. I'm going to go check pin one again. Pin one is giving me a little bit, I think. I don't know. There, you know, there's a lot of, there's not a lot to see on lock picking, you know, as far as like action and thrills. But it is a challenge because. If you get it open, you're like, wow, finally. Yeah, one is one is kind of counter-rotating on me here. One or two. <clears throat> there it is. Did you see that? It was hiding behind pin one. So, it takes a while. But... That's security pins in Prepper Dale. This lock is coming to you. So if you can get, if you can get this one open, I'm gonna send a key with it and everything. But if you can pick this one open, you you have uh, you have reached you have reached the uh, the good picker level. You know. Well, I don't know about skilled pickle, skilled pickle, skilled picker level. Because uh, it takes some skill to to do that, and as you can see, it, it's it's not particularly easy. So I hope I hope you saw all that and you understood a little bit of what was going on. Um, let me see. I got a bag back here of some security pins. So you know, normally a pin is just like a straight, you know, like a barrel like this, and all you have to do is you're dealing with the uh, You're dealing with pushing it up and feeling it. But when you get these things, this is a T-pin, but like these spools here, this is a spool. And it didn't look quite, it, it looks kind of like the reverse of this is a dumbbell. These are uh, Lock Noob's chess pieces and stuff that I've got mixed in there. But there's a spool for you. There's a good example of a spool. This one that's underneath my thumbnail. Get everybody else out of the way. See that one? So when you're picking, 
the cylinder will turn and go in there, but it can't go up. So what you have to do is when you're coming up to this ramp, you have to ease up on tension and let the cylinder come back so that it can go straight through. And when you do, a lot of times, other pins will drop down to prevent it from turning. So there you go. There's a little quickie on security pins. Not really a quickie. Took 15 minutes. Um, and yeah, if you can get a hold of any Ace has got security pins. They're, these are really very good, tough locks to pick. Uh, Brinks has some, but they're fairly easy to pick. But uh, Ace is one of the best ones. But anyway, I'm going to send that one to you, Dale, when, uh, when I get paid. Like I said, I'm still waiting for the money. And um, I hope everybody found that in interesting or enjoyable. And if not, well, lock picking's not for you. <laughs> Thank you for watching and have a nice day.